All you'll need for this practice is your yoga mat. I would position the mat so the side of the mat faces the screen that you're watching this on, and we'll meet in broken toe. I'm gonna turn to the side for a second. Toes are tucked, sitting back on the heels or taking the weight out of it. Either way, let's start with flashlight, reaching your arms up, and just begin to open and close your hands as fast as you can. Start to breathe in and out through your nose. See if you can match the length of the inhale with that of the exhale. Try to fire off the hands even faster. Imagine that you have a rubber band on the outside of your hands that's resisting you. Try to completely open and completely close your hands here. Let's set an intention for the practice and just find a word or a feeling to connect with. Today, mine is gonna be joy but find whatever feels right for you in the moment. Come back to the breath if you lost it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Just a baby high five, wider, 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 wider with the fingers. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands down. Right foot, step it to the right. Keep your knee slightly back. Left foot, step it to the left. Right knee, left knee. Left foot, right foot, left knee, right knee. Keep that going, or let's add a hop. Hopping out to the side, landing on the balls of the feet, and then tapping the knees to the floor when you come to the center. It's up to you. Keep it going, sticking with the step, or adding that hop if you want to. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Meet in a wide-legged forward fold and just fold over the legs for a couple breaths. Find a little sway side to side if you want. Let's twist left hand, plants right arm reaches up, spreading wide across your collarbones. Switch it out, right hand, plants left arm reaches up. Skandasana to the top, bend the right knee, straighten out the left leg for a breath. You can stay high or come down low. Try to get your heel to the floor. Skandasana to the back of the mat. Turn all ten toes towards the back of the mat, step back turbo. Hover the knees off the ground, grip into the fingers. Try to pull your hands towards your toes, toes towards your hands. Drop the knees down, let's lift and lower that right knee straight out to the side for ten. Try to resist the lower here. Get your shoulders right on top of the wrists. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up to the side here. Option to maybe straighten out the leg. We're here for a 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just lift it higher here, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your right leg over to the left side of your mat and then back out to the side. We'll do a total of 10. You can always do this with your knee bent. Also, keep leaning forward. Last six. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Take that right leg behind the left. So the knees are crossed and just sit back towards your heels for this variation on child's pose with the knees on top of each other. Just melt your chest to the floor. Inhale, let's come up. Take that right leg back out to the side for a breath. Extend it back, modified side arm balance. Right arm reaches up towards the sky for a breath. Shapasana, bend the right knee. Kick the foot back into the hand as you curl the chest open. Slow release, gate pose, push off the floor. Come up onto that left knee, let the right hand slide down the right leg as the left arm reaches up in the air. Walk the hands towards the top of the mat over to the right, fold in towards the right leg, half splits. Inhale, lunge, bend into the right knee, press the pelvis down and forward. Exhale, half splits or pyramid pose, straighten out both legs, draw the right hip back. One more time, inhale, lunge. Exhale, half splits or pyramid pose. 
Inhale, standing split, stand on the right leg with the left leg flat. Stay here, or it could be super soldier, or maybe you want to try a couple of hops up towards a handstand if you feel like trying it. When you're ready, set the back foot down. Goddess pose, toes out, heels in, hands to the thighs, find that lateral shift side to side. And let's twist, right shoulder falls in, center, and the left shoulder falls in. Skandasana to the back of the mat, bend the left knee, straighten out the right leg. Skandasana to the top. Turn all ten toes forward, find a lunge, step back turbo, hover the knees off the ground. Grip into the fingers, press the back of the head into the ceiling. Set the knees down, lift and lower that left knee, straight out to the side, total of ten times. Try to lower as slow as you can. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it out to the side. Option to straighten out the leg for 10. Try to lean forward. Get your shoulders right on top of the wrist. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Take the left leg back over to the right and then straight out to the side. Total of 10 times. You can always do this with your knee bent. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back so the left knee is behind the right leg and just sit back towards your child's pose. You can always wiggle your feet further away from the body. Knees are stacked. Take a breath. Inhale, let's come up. Take that left leg back out to the side for a breath. And then modified side arm balance. Swing your right foot over to the right, reach the left arm up. Option for chapasana, bend the left knee, reach back, kick the foot back into the hand as you curl the chest open. Slow release, gate pose, push off the floor. Come up onto that right knee, let the left hand slide down the left leg as the right arm reaches towards the back of the mat. Half splits at the back of the mat. Swing your right foot out and just fold over your left leg, trying to keep your right hip on top of your right knee. Inhale, lunge, bend into the left knee, press the pelvis down and forward. Exhale, half splits or pyramid pose, draw the left hip back. One more time. Inhale, lunge for a breath. Exhale, half splits or pyramid pose. You can be just on that left heel or grounding the left foot completely. Try not to step on your hand. Standing split, stand on the left leg with the right leg fly for a couple breaths. You can always do super soldier or any variation. Or maybe you want to warm up by taking a couple of hops up towards your handstand, trying to compress the left side of your chest. Goddess pose, set the back foot down, open it up, hands to the heart this time, just find little pulses, just lifting and lowering a couple inches off the ground for breath. Great job. When you're ready, let's just hold it at the bottom, try to sink a little deeper. Think about spiraling your inner thighs away from the body. Straighten out the legs, toes and heels up. Interlace the fingers behind your back, puff up the chest, and exhale, fold in towards the legs. Relax your head and neck. Release your hands down. Just like we started the class, coming back to that turbo or broken toe shape, right foot, left foot, so the knees hover, right foot, left foot. Left knee, right knee, left foot, right foot. And just begin to alternate or touch the knees down, hop out to the side, landing just on the balls of the feet. You pick, we have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Skandasana to the back of the mat. Bend the left knee, straighten out the right leg. This can be high or it can be low. From Skandasana, curtsy squat to the top. So the left leg comes behind the right leg. Touch the knee down. Back to Skandasana, high or low. Curtsy to Skandasana. It's a total of 10, meaning we have seven more. Six, how low can you go? Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Sit down. Artem 
Tadasana, left arm reaches up. Take it across the body for a twist. Try to sit up tall, lift up out of the low back. Let's unwind, boat pose, butt down, legs up, compressing, thighs to the chest, lift up out of the low back. Slowly come down, half boat, Ardhanavasana. Exhale, rise up, pull the thighs in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, just try to link the movements with the breath here. Last seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach the arms overhead. Hold it here or a lot of twist. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Lower down. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. It's a total of ten, so we've got eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch it out or hold it at the bottom. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Ten. Nine. Work the twist. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's flutter the arms for a left ten. Nine, energize the legs, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the legs up, find a couple hip lifts, drop them out with me. Adjust yourself, sticking with the hip lift, navel the spine, or adding that double leg raise. And if you want a little bit more, you can always peel your shoulder blades off the ground. Come back to the breath, last six, five, four, three, Two, and one, yogi bicycle, opposite elbow to opposite knee, aiming for the outside of the knees. Try to pull the knees in tight to the chest, work that compression, bring a little engagement to your feet, find a point or a point, pushing through the balls of the feet, spreading the toes here, we have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Bridge pose. Lift your hips up high. Coiling from the sacrum all the way up to the base of the neck. Actively push into your heels. Try to pull your heels back towards your body so you feel your hamstrings and glutes engage. If you'd rather plant your hands, point your elbows up and go all the way up to the wheel. If you're working on any variations, taking a leg up, working a TikTok, whatever feels good. Or just Trying to straighten your arms, pressing your chest through the gateway of your arms. Eventually coming down. Take the feet to the edges of the mat. Windshield wiper the knees a little bit side to side. Intentionally trying to get the knees all the way to the floor. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Happy baby. Grab a hold of the outer edges of the feet. Try to work the knees a little closer to the mat. Or work towards straightening out your legs. Working the toes towards the floor. Take the legs straight up, point the toes, right ankle over the left, left ankle over the right, split the legs wide. Right, left, wide. Don't overthink it and try to find the compression here so you get your feet right over your face. And as we move towards that little hop in our wide-legged forward fold, you might choose to think about pushing the feet out to the side and work it more as a straddle hop on this next round. Last six, five, Four, three, two, one. Split the legs wide without using your hands. Just try to actively pull your feet closer to the ground. Uh, let's bend the knees. Pull them in. Rock forward and back a couple times. Landing in yogi squat. Toes out, heels in. Press the elbows into the thighs. Try to pull your heart through the gateway of the arms. Let's go for a crow pose here. Plant your hands. Lift your hips. Bend your elbows. Look forward as you lean forward. If you're working on any transitions from crow, you can always throw that in to headstand, to handstand, to one-legged crow. It's just an option. It's a couple breaths. And when you're ready, kneading back in yogi squat, lift the hips up, find a little waddle to turn towards the left, and exhale, sink a little deeper in your yogi squat. Straighten out the legs forward. Let's come back to this left knee. 
right knee. So we end up in turbo, left foot, right foot. Or we've got that little hop out to the side, landing on the balls of the feet. Or maybe you want to try more of a straddle hop this time. It's up to you. I'm going to count to 10, but you go at your own pace for 10. 9, 8, 7. You can always hold 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Meeting in the wide legged forward fold. Fold in. Let's twist. Left hand plants, right arm reaches up, spreading wide across your collarbones. Switch it out, right hand plants, left arm reaches up, spreading wide. Great job. Skandasana to the right, bend the right knee, straighten out the left leg. High or low, you pick. Curtsy squat to the left, right leg behind the left, touch it down. We'll do this a total of 10 times. You can put your arms wherever you want. It's just a couple of moments. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. We'll sit down, Ardha Matsangrasana. Right arm reaches up, take it across the body for a twist. Sit up tall, lift up out of the low back. Let's unwind, facing the back of the mat this time. Boat pose, butt down, legs up. You can always hold it just right here, using your hands for a more passive variation. Releasing the hands, lift up, puff up the chest and or straightening out the legs. Let's slowly come down, half foot, arm to asana. Exhale, rise up, fold the thighs in. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Once again, you can hold it at the bottom or hold it at the top. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, reach the arms overhead. Hold it here or let's lift it out a twist. Left elbow to the right knee, lower down 10. Nine, work the twist at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it out. Right elbow to the left knee. Ten, nine, eight. Come back to the breath. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Lower down, flutter the arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's cross the ankles, maybe arms overhead if you want to make it harder. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the knees in. Take the legs straight up, moving into that hip lift. Pushing the ceiling towel straight up or adding a double leg raise. You can always take those hands under the low back for support or and or peel your shoulder blades off the ground if you want a little bit more. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set the knees down. Let's curl up or feet down, reaching towards the knees. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yogi bicycle, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Try to pull the knees in tight to the chest here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and one, relax, set the feet down, bridge pose, lift your hips up high, feet are up with the part in parallel, actively push into your heels, try to pull your heels back towards your body, so you feel your hamstrings and glutes engage. Once again, if you want to go up to wheel, plant the hands, work towards straightening the arms, straightening the legs, pressing the chest through the gateway of the arms, any variations you like to take here, try to relax your neck. And just let your head hang heavy. Mm -hmm. 
Eventually, slowly come down. Take the feet to the edges of the mat. Windshield wiper the knees a little bit side to side here. Reset. Pull the knees in. Give yourself a little squeeze. Happy baby. Grab a hold of the outer edges of the feet. Let's take the legs straight up. Point the toes. Right ankle over the left. Left ankle over the right. Split the legs wide. Right, left, wide. Don't overthink it. We're just trying to find that spot where you feel tension. And if you want a little bit more here, we'll peel the shoulder blades off the ground. Last four. Three, two, keep the legs wide. One, reach your arms overhead. Reach through your legs here. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep reaching through on this last one and just lift your hips off the ground. Try to keep most of your back in contact with the ground. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Let's rock forward and back, land in yogi squat. Toes out, heels in, fold yogi squat, press the elbows into the thighs, try to pull your heart through, or we've got a crow pose if you want it, plant your hands, bend your elbows. Think about engaging your feet, pull your toes in, maybe getting light, or holding yogi squat it can always be cannonball hop instead, connecting your thighs and your chest, hopping up, heels towards your butt, thighs towards your chest. Let's lift the hips up a little bit, find a little waddle to turn and face the screen to the right, wide-legged forward fold, fold in towards the left. Back to how we started, left knee hovers, right knee hovers to turbo, left foot, right foot, beginning to alternate, or adding that little hop from broken toe, landing on the balls of the feet in both shapes. Straddle hop, it's up to you. Think about pushing the legs out to the side, or it could just be a hold, it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fold in towards the legs for your breath. Let's twist, left hand plants, right arm reaches up, spreading wide across your collarbones. Switch it out, right hand plants, inhale, left arm reaches up, spreading wide. Scan asana to the back of the mat, bend the left knee, straighten up the right leg for a breath. Great job. Try to get a little bit lower, you can always use your hands, trying to get that heel all the way to the floor. Let's turn this into gate pose. With or without using your hands, try to get your left knee all the way to the ground. Right hand slides down the right leg, left arm reaches up and over, looking for space on the left side of the body. Modified side arm balance, left hand plants, reaching the right arm up and over, looking for space on the right side of the body. Let's try to hover the left knee. And if you got the hover, connect your right elbow and your left knee, and then extend the leg back for 10. Pull it in, nine, I like to aim for the hip. Just as much compression as I can possibly get here. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Pull it in, extend the leg straight out. Reach your arm forward, see if you can tap your toes to your wrist, and then extend so the ankles cross. Pull it in, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Set the left knee back down. Gate pose, push off the floor. Come up onto that left knee, let the right hand slide down the right leg as the left arm reaches up and over. Both hands frame up that right leg. Swing your left foot towards the back of the mat, half splits, fold in towards the right leg for a breath. Inhale, lunge, take a breath, press the pelvis down and forth. Both hands to the right leg, come up, so your vertical, tailbone down, ribs in, hands to the heart, push into the right heel, pull it towards the back of the mat, let's lift and lower that left knee, try to stay low for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hover the knee, take a couple breaths here. Top of the mat, funky chair, push off, Woo. Left ankle on top of the right knee. Sit back, compress, chest to your thigh. Any variations here, you can just hold it, work it as a standing balance. 
Work it as a forward fold with the hip opener, maybe taking a hop up towards that figure four handstand. If you want to try it, it's just a couple breaths there. Great job, goddess pose. Step that left foot back, toes out, heels in. Find a little pulse here. Just try to stay low. Arms wherever you want. Let's find stillness when you're ready. And right heel lifts, left heel lifts. Just begin to alternate for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get a little lower. Spiral those inner thighs away from the midline. Straighten out the legs, toes and heels out. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Cuff up the chest. And exhale, hinge and fold in, actively lifting the hands off the low back. Release your hands down to the floor. Just like we started the class, clamp the hands. We'll come to that turbo shape. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Alternating so the knees hover. Adding that little hop out to the side. In and out, in and out. Or working it as a handstand, it's up to you. I'm gonna count to 10, so you pick this time. Doesn't have to be a high, we have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, get low, five, four, so if you can touch those knees down, three, two, and one. Scund awesome to the top of the mat. Bend the right knee, straighten out the left leg for a breath, high or low. We'll turn this into gate pose, and you might need to use your hands, but eventually dropping that right knee down to the ground. Come up, left hand slides down the left leg, right arm reaches up and over, looking for space on the right side of the body. Modified side arm belts, right hand plants, reaching the left arm open over. Staying here, we're trying to hover that right knee, or if you got the hover, elbow to the knee and extend through 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knee in, shoot it straight out, try to tap right hand to the right toes, and then cross the ankles for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, back to gate pose. Set the right knee down, push off. Left hand slides down the left leg, right arm reaches up and over, looking for space on the right side of the body. Half splits at the back of the mat, frame off that left leg with your arms, and fold over your left leg. Think about leaning forward, trying to get your right hip on top of your right knee. Inhale, lunge, shoot your breath. Modified crescent, sweep the arms up, tailbone down, ribs in. Actively push into the left heel. Try to pull it towards the back of the mat so you feel your hamstrings and glutes engage. Hands to the heart. Let's lift and lower the right knee here. Stay low. We have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push off. After you hover for a breath, top of the mat, funky chair. Falling is, of course, part of the game. Right ankle on top of the left knee. Draw your hips back. Sit back. Couple of breaths here. Releasing the hands down if you want to go for the arm balance. Standing forward fold variation. Standing balance. Or maybe you want to take a hop up towards that handstand. It's an option. It's just a couple of breaths. Wherever you want to be. Goddess pose when you're ready. Open it up. Toes out, heels in. Bend deep into the knees. Take a couple breaths here. Find a little pulses. You can find stillness if that's what you like. Knees are tracking with the second toes. Crown of the head reaching up, nice and tall. Spine is long. Get low, stay low. Left heel lifts, right heel lifts. Just begin to alternate through 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, get low, stay low, both heels lift 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Can you get a little bit lower? Great job, straighten out the legs. Toes and heels out, interlace the fingers behind your back. Puff up the chest, and exhale, just fold in towards the legs, actively lifting the hands off the low back. Think about leaning forward, aligning your hips with your ankles. Just let your head dangle if your head's touching the floor. Play around with bringing your feet closer together so you can create that decompression of the spine. Release the hands down. Back to where we started. Right knee hovers, left knee hovers. I'm in turbo. Right foot, left foot. Left knee hovers, right knee hovers, left foot, right foot. Going for those hops, tapping the knees down, hopping out to the side. Or of course, straddle hop if you want it. Anything goes. I'm going to count to 10. It's up to you. You can always go wide together, wide together if you want to. We have 10. 9, 8, you pick 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide-legged forward fold. That's where we'll meet. Scan down into the back of the mat. Bend the left knee. Straighten up the right leg. Let's turn this into gate pose with or without hands. Dropping that left knee to the floor. Come up. Right hand slides down the right leg. Left arm reaches up and over looking for space on the left side of the body. Modified side arm mounts, left hand plants, reaching the right arm overhead. Stay here or hover your left knee or connect the right elbow on the left knee for 10. Pull it in, nine, extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend that left leg straight out. Tap right hand to the left toes, and then cross your ankles for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your left knee down, gate pose, push off. Right hand slides down the right leg, left arm reaches up and over. Frame out the right leg with the hands. Swing your left foot towards the back of the mat. Fold over your right leg. Half splits just for a breath. Inhale, lunge. Bend into the right knee. Press the pelvis down and forward for a breath. Full crescent pose. Rise up, reach up. Draw the right hip back and left hip forward. Slip to lower that right heel here for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to the heart, twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Lean forward, flamingo. See if you can get that left knee to hover. Chair twist. Feet together, knees together. Try to line up the knees. Fluff up the toes. Spin the chest open, revolving from the thoracic spine. Stay here or flex the left foot. Tap your left knee to your shoulder for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the leg back, back to flamingo. Set it down, goddess pose. Toes out, heels in, bend deep into the knees. Hands behind the head this time. Right elbow to the right knee, twist. Left hand plants, right arm reaches up. Same side, right elbow to the right knee, twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Three more, exhale, compress. Inhale, twist. Last two, last one. Switch it out, left elbow to the left knee. Twist, right hand plants, left arm reaches up. Exhale, compress, inhale, twist. Three more, compress, and twist. Last two, last one. Back to goddess, get low, stay low. Let's come back to those pulses. Arms wherever you want here. Get low. Find a place to hold it. Right heel lifts, left heel lifts. Begin to alternate for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels lift 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten up the legs. Toes in, heels out. Interlace the fingers. Puff up the chest. Exhale, hinge and fold over the legs. See if you can lift the hands off so you can get a little bit, com little bit more comfortable. You can shift it side to side. Find stillness. Eventually releasing the hands down, coming back to where we started. Right foot, left foot, turbo. Left foot, right foot, just alternating here to that turbo or hitting broken toe. Tapping the knees down, finding a little hop out to the side, or possibly a shadow hop, or of course, wide together, you pick room for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide legged forward fold, fold in towards the legs for a couple breaths. Slow it down, come back to the intention you started the class with. Stand asana to the top, bend the right knee, straight up the left leg for a breath. Let's turn this into gate pose, with or without hands, drop the right knee down, come up, left hand slides down the left leg, right arm reaches up and over, looking for space on the right side of the body. Modified side arm bounce, right hand plants, left arm reaches up and over. Stay here, see if you can hover that right knee, or connect the left elbow on the right knee and extend for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knee in, shoot the leg straight out, tap, hand to your toes, and then cross your ankles for 10. Pull it in, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Gate pose. Set the right knee down. Push off. Left hand slides down the left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. Half splits at the back of the mat. Frame off that left leg. Fold over your left leg. Think about leaning forward. Keeping your right hip on top of your right. Inhale, lunge, bend into the left knee, pelvis down and forward for a couple breaths. And then full crescent pose. Draw the left hip back and the right hip forward. Create that scissoring action between your hips. Tailbone down, ribs in for a breath. Hands to the heart, let's twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Look down at the floor. Flamingo, see if you can get that right leg to hover. Chair twist, feet together, knees together. Hold it here, just work the twist. Try to line up the knees, fluff up the toes. Stay here or flex your right foot. Tap your right knee to your shoulder for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the right leg back. Goddess pose, toes out, heels in. Sink a little bit deeper in the knees. Couple of breaths here, starting with those little pulses. And when you're ready, we'll hold it at the bottom. Alternating heels, left heel, right heel. Just alternate for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Both heels lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get a little bit deeper. Spiral the inner thighs back. Let's just hold on the balls of the feet this time. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Made it. Straighten the legs. Toes and heels up. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Puff up the chest and exhale. Hinge and forward. Relax your head and neck. Slow everything down a little bit. So you can get your head to dangle. At this point, you might have to bring your feet a little closer together. Eventually, releasing your hands down, finding a little sway side to side, bob up and down. But see if you can dangle. So again, once the arms are down, you might actually have to bring your feet 
closer together for me. It's not really going to be a wide legged forward fold anymore since my forearms are down. And release the hands down. Take a couple moments here just to fold in towards the legs, maybe using your hands as resistance against the floor to try to pull yourself closer. Great job. Let's drop down to the knees. Broken toe. Okay, we'll come back to what we did one more time. And it's that stepping out to the side, turbo, to this bent leg, wide-legged forward fold. It's the hop or sitting back on your feet if that's comfortable, or you can stay on your heel or the balls of the feet if that's more comfortable. Reach the arms out in front. Let's try a little hop to try to land in yogi squat. And then we come back down. So again, could be from the balls of the feet, hop up, yogi squat. Could be that little hop to turbo we've been doing. It's up to you, uh, but we won't do 10 of them, okay? So it's just a couple of moments to alternate, or we'll try a hop. One more time if you want to try it. Maybe one more. <laughs> Great job. Meeting in yogi squat. Take a couple breaths here. Press the elbows into the thighs. Great job. From your yogi squat, either just hold it and press your elbows into your thighs and pull your heart through, or see if you can get your butt to the floor. Pull your heels in and make your way back to yogi squat. Just transitioning from your butt back to your feet a couple times. And if this is easy for you, then we'll try a one-legged version. If it's hard, then let's just hold yogi squat. Easy, right leg extends, sit down, extend the left leg out, pick it up, come back up. Transitioning back and forth into pistol. We'll try this five times. Once you get five, switch it out. And if you're holding yogi squat, just stay in yogi squat. That's a great place to stay. Or the single leg version on the opposite side, trying to transition to pistol <laughs> five times or a single leg yogi squat. It's really the same, but we'll all meet in yogi squat, press the elbows into the thighs, try to pull your heart through. With or without using your hands, let's make our way to our butts, body kanasana, soles of the feet together. Take a couple moments here, press the outer edges of the feet together. You can use your hands on your thighs to spiral them back, or begin to walk your hands forward and just fold in towards the legs. Try to press the outer edges of the feet together. Slow down the breath a little bit. Let's split the legs wide, pancake. They don't have to be super wide. You can always bend your knees and or elevate your hips. Bring your hands to your hips for a moment. Just create this anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. Now without using the strength of your arms, tip forward, try to touch your chest to the floor. And if you'd rather just fold in and work it passively, then do that. We're just here for four, three, two, one. And one, right hand slides down the right leg, left arm reaches up and over, looking for space on the left side of the body. Switch it out when you're ready. Left hand slides, right arm reaches, press the ribs up towards the sky. Inhale back to the center, forward fold. You can face any direction that you want. Take your hands to your hips, Pachyotanasana. Play around with that anterior and posterior pelvic tilt here. When you're ready, reach the arms up, lengthen the spine, and exhale, flex the feet and fold in. Try to pull your toes back towards your body. Slow it down a little bit. Inhale, reverse table, plant your hands back by your hips. Fingers can face any direction that feels best for you. Just let your head drop back, puff up your chest. Check in with your heels, pull them back towards your body. Try to spiral the inner thighs towards the floor. Come back to the seat. One more forward fold, lengthen the spine. And exhale, hinge and fold in, flexing the feet. Pull the toes back towards the body. And you might choose to stay there in that, one, in that forward fold. But this is an opportunity to finish out your practice in your own way. It's the beauty of a home practice. 
So if you want to throw in some more stretches or get in some chaturangas or work on an inversion at the wall, feel free. It's your practice. Do you. And if you'd rather just close down the eyes for a moment and start to let the practice go, do that. <laughs> 